there is one thing that we know for sure about our solar system, it is the fact that we hardly know anything for sure. The constraints and science of space are complex, and we only have a general understanding of the things that lie beyond our immediate view. Every new space discovery has the potential to impact everything that we already thought we knew, as well as to introduce entirely unknown possibilities about the inner workings of space. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we're going to be looking at three interesting discoveries and what they mean for our understanding of our solar system and space as a whole. Mysterious Island Teeming with Life Only Four Years After Being Created In 2015, the island of Hunga Tonga suddenly emerged in the southern Pacific Ocean near Fiji. A hidden underwater volcano erupted and drove the rock up to the surface to create the island. The volcano was situated between two already existing islands in the South Pacific, then connecting them to one oversized island. It's located in the Kingdom of Tonga and technically has no official name, but locals have dubbed it Hunga Tonga Hunga Hapai, which they call Hunga Tonga for short. It is a volcanic rock island situated 19 miles southeast of Tonga Island. It is made up of black gravel and is relatively small. Within the last 150 years, only two other volcanic islands have suddenly burst into the ocean like this. NASA and other research organizations have been studying the island closely, taking frequent GPS measurements to map out the island. Most of their research has been conducted purely by satellite or aircraft until 2019. Four years after it initially emerged, they finally visited the island and observed it on foot. The scientists noted that the ground was not quite like sand, instead it was made up of pea-sized gravel and was quite painful to walk on. They also found that hundreds of seabirds had already nested on the southern cliffs of the island. Most surprisingly, though, was what they found on the black gravelly beaches. Beautiful pink and purple flowering plants were growing across the devoid island, despite poor soil conditions. Scientists believe that the plant life grew because of the seabirds, called sooty terns, living on the island. They seeded the isle with their droppings. Whatever seeds and plants they ate were then transferred into the soil and fortunately took hold of the environment allowing flowers to bloom on this mysterious island. Researchers are eagerly studying Hunga Tonga, trying to learn as much as possible about the process and qualities of rare volcanic islands before it erodes completely. Due to the harsh weather conditions of the Pacific Ocean and constant rainfall, the island is crumbling away quickly. Scientists are surprised at the rapid rate at which the coastline is eroding and are not sure how long it will take until it completely disappears. Until then, they will continue to observe the volcanic rock, take measurements, and watch the flowers thrive. Green pea galaxies may have reheated the universe. The Big Bang is the leading and most widely accepted theory as to how the universe was formed. As we understand it, we experienced a Big Bang, an explosion of sorts, in which the universe was in an incredibly hot and dense state. This was then followed by a period in which the universe cooled down for an approximate billion years. After this cooling period, there was a mysterious reheating that took place. We call this the cosmic reionization. We do not know why or how this reheating occurred, except that in 2016, an international team of scientific researchers believe they may have cracked the code, finding the hidden catalyst that kick-started this heating process. There are galaxies, dubbed green pea galaxies, thanks to how they look on the slogan Digital Sky Survey, or SDSS, which are believed to have played a key part in the cosmic reionization. These green pea galaxies are responsible for putting new stars and new galaxies into the universe in a manner not too dissimilar than the Big Bang itself. This introduced a lot of new energy into the early cosmos, possibly having had a monumental impact. Despite how long ago this took place, the dwarf galaxies created from this lay undiscovered until 2007. 
They were only noticed by mistake as volunteers began to study deep space photos and gradually spotted their presence. The 2016 hypothesis that these green peak galaxies were behind the cosmic reionization was a consequence of a study from the SDSS which examined 5,000 green peak galaxies. From these 5,000, just five were selected to be examined and analyzed in more depth via the Hubble Space Telescope, one of which, given the snappy name J092514403, was emitting photons that had the capability to ionize hydrogen. Until this particular green peak galaxy was observed, any galaxies that had been leaking photons were at a rate so slow that they were easily absorbed by the surrounding gas and dust. J092514403, however, was ejecting photons at such a high volume and rate that the impact was far more significant. The explanation of hydrogen ionization is in keeping with the current assumptions and facts we have surrounding this reheating. Already the electrons and protons splitting apart despite being previously joined within hydrogen atoms. This would provide a new burst of energy, like what we assume would be needed. The link between cosmic reionization and these green peak galaxies is useful as it tells us where we need to be looking to find out further information. It gives us a starting point to search further into the area. It is hoped that the James Webb Space Telescope would provide some further information once it is fully configured. Shoemaker Levy 9 Left Dark Ringed Scars on Jupiter Comets are often spoken about in our favorite books and films as once-in-a-lifetime unmissable events. The reality is, comets can fall into orbits and patterns allowing us to observe them for decades. One such comet is Shoemaker-Levy 9. Discovered in 1993, Shoemaker-Levy had already been ripped into pieces, with more than 20 fragments moving in a two-year orbit around Jupiter. It should come as no surprise, then, that we have had some questions about what exactly happened to this broken-up comet. Further observations were made following the discovery, leading scientists to believe that the comet, when it was a single unit, may have had a close encounter with Jupiter back in 1992, but that the tidal forces, which are incredibly powerful due to the planet's gravity, tore the comet apart. Our estimations suggest that the comet had been orbiting Jupiter for about a decade before this, beginning in the early 1980s. It is quite rare to see a comet fall into fragments like this, though what is even rarer is that the fragments then collided with Jupiter itself. NASA had a spacecraft, the Galileo Orbiter, aligned to observe what they refer to as the first time in history two bodies collided in the solar system, an event that took place from July 16, 1994 through until July 22. It was revealed that these fragments crashed into Jupiter with a force equivalent to 300 million atomic bombs, leaving what NASA described as dark, ringed scars along the surface of the planet. The high speeds of Jupiter have seemingly wiped these scars away now, however. It's incredible to see how even the smallest fragments can have lasting impacts upon the solar system and how much we are able to watch and observe from right here on Earth. There are plenty of brilliant discoveries out there waiting to be uncovered. There are endless, unlimited opportunities out there in the universe. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.